Hello everyone. Welcome to this session of coordinate geometry. In this session we are going to learn the basic concepts related to this topic. For understanding this, let's consider two axes, the horizontal axis. It is called x axis and the vertical axis. It is called the y axis and their point of intersection is called as origin. X axis is named as x x dash and y axis is named as y y dash. When these two axes are drawn in this way on any plane paper or any plane it divides that plane into four equal parts. This is first part called as first quadrant, second quadrant, third quadrant and this is fourth quadrant. And the x axis possesses positive values on the right side of the origin and it possesses negative values on the left side of the origin. Similarly y axis possesses positive values above the origin and it possesses negative values below the origin and these values of x and y axis help us to find the location of any point on the plane for example here is the point i want the location of this point and for finding the location we require reference so we'll take reference of x axis and y axis so we can see that this point is covering two units on positive x axis and three units on positive y axis so therefore its location will be given accordingly two units for x axis three units for y axis this kind of representation of the location of a point is called as coordinates and the value of x axis is called as x coordinate and the value of y axis is called as y coordinate x coordinate is also called as abscissa and y coordinate is also called as ordinate talking about the coordinates we can say it is a location of a point or in other words we can say it is address of the point for example if i want to write address of my home i'll give the street number the lane number the area code etc all these things are references to reach my home similarly these coordinates are the references for locating a point on the plane suppose we are given with a coordinates minus 3 comma minus 4 and we want to locate this point so we'll first take the x coordinate that is minus 3 and x value is minus 4 that is y coordinate now we can see that they both are intersecting at this value so this is nothing but minus 3 comma minus 4 so this is how coordinates work now let's talk about the sign of the coordinates it depends on the quadrant in which they exist and these two reference axes x axis and y axis are called as coordinate axis So now we know what are coordinates and what are coordinate axes. This whole system is called as coordinate system and this system is given by the great French mathematician René Descartes and therefore this coordinate system is named after him as Cartesian coordinate system. When concepts of this coordinate system are used in geometry it is called as coordinate geometry. That is our title. In next few sessions we are going to learn three important concepts under this title of coordinate geometry. Number 1 distance formula in this formula we will learn when two points are given with their coordinates how to find the distance between these two points and the next concept we will learn section formula under this concept when two points are given with their coordinates and the line joining the two points we will find the coordinates of the third point which is lying anywhere on this line segment which is dividing the line segment into the given ratio and the third concept we will learn is area of triangle in this concept we are given with three points along with their coordinates and these three points are forming a triangle then we'll see how to find the area of that triangle which is formed so let's have a recap of this session 